murder has never been solved. His family deserved justice. All at once, young Yoda, young Yoda, his murder has never been solved, ever. And they pretty much know who did it. Most of the people I talk about, Al Bundy, my man Al Stevens, his murder has never been solved. Listen to all these unsolved murders I'm naming to y'all. All of these is real human beings loved by somebody. Everybody was loved by somebody and they deserve respect for their loved ones and death. Al Stevens' father and mother, if they still around, and his brothers, Spankins. I can't remember the name. If I sat down, I could, but they remember me and I remember them. Understand that and they deserve respect and to know what happened to their brother Al Stevens, just like Maserati Rick and all the rest. I could name them. I could just make a show, Young Yoda, Unsolved Murder. I could just do a show of all the unsolved murders. Y'all talk about me. Why don't y'all talk about these police departments in Highland Park in Detroit that didn't allow this for us to live like the wild, wild west. Soon as a nigga have a dispute, they can get out of here and take 10 pieces 10 paces, and let's settle it. The best shot win. Understand what I'm telling you. Soon as Lil Rod came home from jail, same thing. His murder has never been solved. Lil Rod right there off Brighton. His murder has never been solved out of Highland Park. And him and the niggas went right out, him and the brother went right out in the middle of the sidewalk and had a duel. I guess that's self-defense. See, that's the point I'm asking y'all. Is that self-defense? Him and Lil Rod went out there, had a do. Lil Rod is dead, dead. The man has never been charged. That's what I'm trying to tell you. A whole bunch of situations where two guys shooting at one another and the best shot win. Understand that. Who got the best aim and the best shot is who win. And the other family is left to cry and wonder what happened, never getting a murder. So, so I could 